successful people have mentors, of course. Yes. So you need that social modeling. Mm. Uh, in other words, you you learn from others. Uh, yes. Newton himself said, "We're standing on the shoulders of giants." In other words, the people that came before us that opened up uh, the the uh, possibilities for us. They mm. did the hard work. They did the research. They wrote the books. They tried experiments. They're the ones that we're now reaping the rewards from, and we're able to carry on that work. So when you see someone who's successful, they kind of wake up that success within you that if they can do it, I can do it. Absolutely. But what normal normally we do is like, oh, I'm not like them, you know. So you have to kind of identify with a mentor that you say, well, I I want what she has, I want what he has, and show me the way, like show me, and and it's it's really not about learning skills as much, but about how to work with your mind uh, to be that resilience, to have that locus of control, because you know. It, I mean, definitely intelligence helps because you're able to figure out problems. But it, it's that um, it, it's something that you can't see on the outside. Uh, when you look at someone successful, you think, oh, they're successful because they took these steps. Mm -hmm. But what's really hap making them a success is what's going on inside of them. What's what's the inner world that they created, the mind of success. Yeah, so mentors, coaches, uh, just people you admire that have mm. come before you and left books or information, you can learn from these great people. Masterminds, uh, people that are all do you know kind of growing, doing the same on the same goal, uh, learning from each other, lifting each other up. It's it's really a wonderful yeah. Way that's to feed an, off each th other's. That's it, another element of it because mentors, let's say, are individuals. Yes, but then you have social support networks like mastermind groups mm -hmm. uh communities of like-minded people that are really enriching for success mm -hmm. and if you surround yourself with people that are actively doing the things that you want to attain mm -hmm. and to be doing you're much more likely to succeed than if you hang out with your buddies from the bar uh, <laughs> yeah. bowling bowling team nothing about bowling you know um when i first started um i left the corporate world and, and usually i was in the corporate world for almost 20 years so i did uh, you know the corporate people you know they're different they're uh, you know they have their you know they're, they're, everything's about the family and mm. vacations and uh, not everyone and uh, i kind of was always the the guru in the group that people came to for advice and when i left and i started becoming you know doing the hypnotherapy and then later coaching um i started hanging out with these networking groups and it was like a different type of person we had different conversations uh they were talking about possible different possibilities than um than i would have in the in the corporate world so you, you the corporate mindset is very different yeah. it's about you know climbing the ladder and maybe even competition uh, proving yourself and your worth and all that stuff where um, in the you know the entrepreneurial state it's a different kind of success so there's nothing wrong with being in the corporate world but that environment breeds a certain amount of mindset of worker you know you're relying on someone else to to approve of you moving forward we're an entrepreneur your owner you're in charge of your own success and it's like a different type of conversation you're having with people and it was I was like, oh, I could talk about spiritual stuff with these people and the, the personal growth. And it was just so different. And so we, we want to be around those community of people that can um, talk our language and, yeah. and be where we're going, not where we were. Yeah, so I guarantee you, if you look at any successful person um, and you study their past, there's mentors and there's community behind that success no mm -hmm. one is no one creates success on their own mm -hmm. right that, that that myth about the self-made person mm -hmm. self-made billionaire millionaire that's a false uh, assumption basically it takes the tribe it takes a village very much so mm -hmm. it takes community it takes mentors coaches um a lot of support 